In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's have a look at a ratio word problem. And the question we have is there is a total of 30 students in a lesson, 18 of them are boys. What is the ratio of boys to girls? So for this question, we need to find the ratio of boys to girls. And for that, we need to find the number of boys and girls. So first, we know that there are 18 boys because it says 18 of them are boys. So that means we have 18 boys. Next, we have to find the number of girls. But the question does not tell us the number of girls. So we have to work that out. But before we work that out, we're going to have a look at the total number of students, which is 30. So we know that the total number of students is 30 and we're going to write that down. So the total is going to be 30. So we have 18 boys and a total of 30 students. So now we have to find the number of girls. To find the number of girls, all we have to do is subtract the total and the number of boys. So that means we have to do 30 minus 18, which will give us 12. That means the number of girls is 12. So now we have found out the number of boys and girls. Next, we have to write these in a ratio. So the ratio is boys to girls. Because we're doing from boys to girls, we need to write the boys first, which is 18, and then the number of girls is 12. So we get a ratio of 18 to 12. Now, we can simplify 18 to 12. To do that, we need to find the highest common factor for both 18 and 12. If you guys want to know how to find the highest common factor, I've got a video on that. The link is in the description below, so go check that out. So we have to find the highest common factor. The highest common factor of 18 and 12 is obviously 6, which means we have to divide both 18 and 12 by 6. So 18 divided by 6 will give us 3, and then 12 divided by 6 will give us 2, which means we get an answer of 3 to 2. And therefore, our ratio to this question is 3 to 2. Now, let's have a look at another example. And in this example, it says, in a school, the ratio of boys to girls is 3 to 5. If there are 120 people, how many boys are in the school? So as you guys could see, in this question, this is a bit different to the one we looked previously. Because in the previous one, we had to find the ratio. Instead, in this question, we have the ratio. We have to find the number of boys in the school. So firstly, let's write boys and girls down because we need to find both of these first. So the boys and the girls. So now, as you guys could see, we go back to the ratio, it says three to five. So three to five is the ratio for boys to girls. So for the sake of this question, we're going to write three for boys so let's write 3 for boys, and then for girls, we're going to write 5. So because we had a ratio of 3 to 5, and it was boys to girls, we wrote a 3 for the boys, and a 5 for the girls. Now, let's find the total for this. So the total of this will be 8, because 3 plus 5 will obviously give you 8. So now we know the total is 8. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the actual total. The actual total, the actual number of pupils in the school is 120. So let's write that right here, right next to the 8. Now, the next thing we have to do, we're going to divide the actual total, which is 120, with the 8. So that's going to be 120 divided by 8, which will give you 15. So that means to get from 8 to 120, you have to multiply by 15. You have to times 8 by 15 to give you 120. Now, after this point, this question is very simple. Because now, we have to multiply 15 to the 5 and the 3 to get the number of boys and girls. So in this question, we have to find the number of boys. So we're going to times the number of boys by 15. So 3 times 15 will give you an answer of 45. And notice how we haven't multiplied the girls, because this question asks us, 
how many boys are in the school. And because the question had nothing to do with girls, then we only had to multiply the 3 by 15 to give us an answer of 45. So this means our answer to this question is 45. Now to learn more on Level Plus Maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.